name is Rhonda Porges. I'm a volunteer here at Community Hospice. Today I'm going to show you how to paint rocks and then what we're going to do is once they're dry, we're going to hide them around so that people in your neighborhood can go find them and keep them as a little keepsake. First you need blank rocks and you can find them anywhere, the park, the neighborhood, you can actually even buy them at the dollar store. You need paints that we have here, any colors you want. I've used paint brushes. You can also use paint sponges if you have them or any kind of sponge. Plain water and some paper towels. I'm gonna to show you how to finish off a ladybug rock. This will be our end product. I painted the plain rock completely one color. Doesn't even have to be red. As you see, this guy is purple. You could do green, yellow, blue, and then when you put them all together in a cluster, they really look super, super cute. So I'm gonna finish her off. I'm gonna take my paintbrush and I'm gonna dip it in my black paint. And I'm just gonna paint her little face. Take a little line across and just paint. And it took about an hour for the body to dry. So you just may want to consider that in the time. Then I'm going to take a stripe and put it right down the middle of her back. And now the fun part is making just little dots. And you make them any size you want. You make them anywhere on her body that you want. You just take them, you dot them. I think that's enough. And the, really what you would like to do is let her black part of her face dry before you put on the little white eyes. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And let's see how it turns out. We may have gray eyes, but we'll see. Just clean off your brush in your water and dab it on your paper towel. Take your white paint. And we're just gonna dab on two little eyes right on either side of the stripe that you made down her back. Again, we're gonna wash this off. And you're gonna want the white to dry, ideally, before you put the little black part on. So we're gonna put in our black paint again. And we're just gonna make a little tiny dot right in the middle of the white. And that is our finished red rock ladybug. So whatever shape rock you have, you let your imagination run wild. This guy, you know, it was pretty round, so I thought, oh, well, ladybug sounds pretty good on that one. But we also found one that looks like this. And my thought was a candy corn. So wherever your thought takes you, this rock was painted by Stacy, and she first thought in her head was a watermelon. And look how cute that turned out. One more thing I just wanted to say was you don't have to paint anything either. You can just write. This one says hi. How cute would that be for your neighbor to find something that says hi on their rock? So after you're done painting, you just place your rocks wherever you want. You can place them in the garden. You can place them along the sidewalk so your neighbors can find them. And they're just so cute to have around. You can even keep them for yourself.